Hello Scorpios, this is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing, bringing you a general and a love reading for the month of April 2016. This is a reading for a large audience, so although when I pray and prepare, I ask that each of you receives at least one message, it's for a large number of people. So if you'd like a personal reading just for you to answer all of your questions in detail, you can schedule that on my webpage. I will put the link below. I will also embed it for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already prayed over the cards and shuffled them to expedite your reading. I'm going to be pulling from three Doreen Virtue decks. Her Archangel Power Tarot, Archangel Michael, Romance Angels, and then I'm going to be pulling from Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Wow, well, Scorpios. You got some stuff going on in April. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Your, your first card that you have is Five of Raphael. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So I get that there are a number of you out there that you're, you're upset with the way things turned out. Um, and you know, Scorpios can really hold on to anger, disappointment, um, but they're encouraging you to let that go this month so it doesn't block you from the blessings that they're trying to bring in. Um, because I get for some of you, it's love. You know, you had met someone, you thought it was going to work out with that person. It did not. For some of you, I even get that you now have someone new in your life, but you're, but you're really not opening up to them because it's almost like you're, you see the card, you know, she's got Archangel Raphael behind her, but it's um, almost like you're staring off at the person that hurt you, disappointed you, that you thought you were going to be with, but, but you're not looking to what's, what's right there for you. Um, so they're encouraging you to let, to let that regret go, to let th the sadness of that loss go. Because even, even though things didn't turn out as you expected, that's because God and, and the angels in the universe, I mean, they have something so much better in store for you. But regret and sadness and loss and, and, and disappointment, it's, it's not serving you. It's blocking you from those blessings. So they're encouraging you to let, let that go. Embrace the change. Embrace the new things that are coming in. Um, embrace that happiness and that joy. And they're saying to be tender toward others. Um, it's almost for some of you, because you know Scorpios, they, they get you know hurt and the stinger comes out. Um, so I get for some of you, you know, the, the person, the romantic partner that you thought you were going to be with that disappointed you, hurt you, you know, you, you pulled out your stinger with them and, and stung them. So forgive that person. Come from a place of tenderness, forgiveness, compassion, and love. If it, it didn't work out, it wasn't meant to be. God has someone way better for you. So forgive. Be ready move on so you're ready for that person and for those of you that have someone new already that's your person that's that blessing it's not what you thought it was but it's exactly what you've always hoped and dreamed of and for some of you i get that this is applicable to work um you know in this deck the Raphael suite it, it's related to love, emotion, relationships. But I do get for some of you, this is related to your career. Like for some of you, you were hoping for a promotion, you were hoping to change into a new department, and it just didn't happen. It fell through. And you're really upset about that. And, and that, that frustration, that disappointment that you're holding on to, it's blocking you from a different job. And I get for some of you, that's even gonna open up in the same company, same organization. But it won't open up and happen for you till you release that. You have to let that go. Know that it just wasn't meant for you. There's something better. Let it go and be ready for the new blessings that are, that are coming your way. They are coming your way. You just need to get out of your way. Let that sadness upset, you know, 
disappointment. Just let it go. God's got your back. Something else is coming in. And it, if it's, it's not already coming, I get for some of you, it's already there. Um, next card we have is Nine of Ariel. The bottom of it says, your dreams are fulfilled. Already there. <laughs> Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. And if you look at it, it it's very lovely. You know, she's, she's riding a unicorn. Who doesn't want to ride a unicorn? There's a ton of butterflies in there. You got the rainbow back behind her. Um, I get that you guys have had, you've had a really rough year. Um, a lot of stress, a lot of turbulence, a lot, a lot of changes in life in, in all areas that you didn't want, <laughs> that you didn't expect, and it just kind of made you mad <laughs> and frustrated. But that's all part of the plan. Because if you look here, you'll see a bunch of butterflies. Essentially that you were going through your time of incubation. Like a caterpillar. When a caterpillar goes into the cocoon and, and it starts getting squeezed and squeezed and, and more and more oxygen is getting pulled out of the cocoon and, and the caterpillar is just, it is sure it's going to die. Life is over. It's done. They're kaput. You know, go ahead. I'm finished here. Time to go back to the other side. That's when it emerges as a butterfly. And I get April is the month that you are going to emerge from your cocoon as a butterfly. Because all your prayers have been heard and they have been fulfilled in all areas. And they want you to know that. That, that all that hardship and the trials and the tribulations and the, and the heartache and, and the hard work that you all have been putting in, they're commending you on that. Um, because that is bringing those blessings and those finer things and those things that you desire into your life. And they are coming in full force in April. Um, so now you can just relax, relax, enjoy, enjoy life, enjoy the rewards. I mean, you've earned it. You've really put it in. You've really worked hard. You've been through the gamut of junk the past year of healing and releasing and growing and developing and, 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 and lots of life changes to prepare you for your bliss, for your happiness, for those miracles. So just know that now's the time for you to step in to know this is the time of contentment, happiness, joy. This is your treasure on the other side of the rainbow and it begins in April. Have no doubt about that. It is happening in April. And I get, you'll see it in April because, you know, oftentimes they'll say, you know, it's happening and, and that can sometimes, yeah, it's happening, but it's, you know, behind the scenes. But it's not behind the scenes. I mean, you are going to physically see it. The, the hopes and dreams that you've been praying, asking for are going to physically start occurring for you in April. And that's pretty amazing. So congratulations. Next card we have. Now this is, you know, kind of tied. You know, children, they like to play. They like to have fun. You know, have fun. And start enjoying life again. You put in all that hard work. Now you can kind of relax and have a little fun. Be like a child. Um, but there's deeper meaning to this card. If, if you read the top of it, it says, Your children are watched over by angels. At the bottom, Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, Thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. So, okay, I'm getting a few things. Let me see if I can get them to slow down. Because <laughs> they're just firing it off. Okay. I get for some of you, you, you do have some worries about your children. Um, I get for some of you, you know, they're having trouble at school, their, their grades are low, I get that they're not talking to you, they're, um, it's like they're going through a phase, but it's manifesting where, you know, some of them, you know, maybe they've, they've always been into athletics, and now they don't want to be on the cross country team, and, and they've just totally, you know, gone inside and they become an introvert and all the things that used to interest them don't anymore and their grades are dropping and, and you're just really, really worried and concerned about them. 
so they're, the angels are reassuring you that, that your children are safe that, and they are watching over them. And Archangel Michael, he is paying extra special attention to your children right now um, to keep them safe, to help them with their path, um, to guide them back to a better, happier place. So, so know that they are being watched over. Continue to pray for them and trust and have faith that God and the angels, they're taking care of your babies. So don't worry about that. And then the other side, okay, there's two more sides to it. Okay, so for some of you, I get that you've lost children. Um, for some of you, I, I, I get that you, you, you lost your children when they were younger. Um, for some of you, I get that you had miscarriages. Um, but I get some of you have children on the other side. And what they're, what they're wanting you to know is that your children on the other side are watching over you and that they're being watched over by the angels. Um, so for those of you that lost a child and their time was cut short here, they love you. They're watching over you from heaven. Um, and the angels are watching over them in heaven. So, so just know that, that they are in a happy place. They are happily watching over you and helping you. Um, and they're with you. They're with you often. I get for some of you, some of you even get physical signs. So some of you, um, where you, you know, your children crossed over at a young age, um, they, they give you a lot of signs. So say they, you know, they take your, at nighttime, you go to bed, you lay your necklace on your nightstand. They take it and they move it in the middle of the night. So when you wake up in the morning, it's on the dresser or it's in the bathroom. Um, you'll find a, a penny sitting on your, your countertop. Um, but I get that they're leaving you signs to let you know that they're well, they're happy. They are happy. They are pain free. And they are just filled with love and joy. And they love you. And they love watching over you. And they're just reminding you that they're with you. And they're, and they're happy. And it's all okay. Um, and for some of you, I get that this is a sign about your, your children who are gonna incarnate. So this row down here is love, although love's kind of infiltrated a little earlier on in your reading. So I get for some of you, like you've got a son, like a son who's in heaven waiting to incarnate and be born. So ready to be born to you and his father. Um, but I guess almost like he's, he's waiting on you and his dad to get your act together and you know come together so that he can be born and he can come into this world um and in the meantime he's being watched over by god and the angels but um it's funny because i'm getting there they're giving me almost like an image of you know him and the angels just all sitting there with their you know elbow on their knee and just leaning their head up against their hand kind of like just waiting like is this ever going to happen you know and i get an image of like a little boy like, come on, mom and dad, <laughs> my life depends on you getting your act together, getting together, um, getting out of your own way. They just said getting out of your own way. So you have a son waiting to be born. Hopefully this is not just for one person. You, you've got a son waiting to be born, saying, mom, dad, get out of your own way. Because those blessings, they, all that stuff's awaiting. Uh, it's just sitting in your own way. So, and they'll help you with that. And uh, your little guy up there, he's trying to help you with that as well. Okay. Next card we have is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, I give some of you, the second you saw this and saw love, you, you started thinking of, thinking of someone. That person you thought of, yes, that's the person they're talking about. That is the person that is your soulmate. Um, I get for a number of you, you know, it's a newer connection. And, you know, you've you felt this deep connection with them. You, you know, you're constantly feeling drawn to them. But you're kind of like, there's no way this can be true. Um, 
no way a relationship can be this good. I mean, because you do, you, f you feel comfort with them. You feel like you've always known them, but it, it defies all logic because you've just recently met them. You don't really even know them that well, but they're so familiar to you. And that's because they're your soulmate. This is a meant to be divine relationship. It's watched over by the heavens. So trust that. And, and I get for some of you, you know, who've been hurt, disappointed and all that stuff, don't, don't block that person out, out of fear, out of doubt, out of past disappointments and hurts, because that is your soulmate. That, that is the person you're meant to be with. You're feeling that strong connection, that draw, that attraction to that person, because they're meant for you. It is watch over by the heavens. And you guys have three angels. Angel, wings, angel, angel, trinity. God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It is watched over by heaven. All you need to do is let your guard down, get out of your own way, trust, and just know. That magic, that spark, that, that connection that you just can't explain, it's true. And enjoy it. Because that's one of your many dreams that's coming true. And for some of you, you're going to be getting engaged in April. Another part of your dreams coming true. When you read here, it's engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, for some of you that you know you're you're in a relationship, you've met the, you've met this person. Um, and you just know they're the one. I get for some of you, you know, you've been together for a while. Um, I get for some of you, it's even a newer relationship, but you like have no doubt, this is the one. This is my dream. This is what I've always been waiting for. I, I do get that you'll be getting engaged in April. For some of you, I get that you're going to take the relationship to the next level. You, you know, you're, you're going to take it from dating, um, lighthearted dating to, to committing to each other. Um, taking it to that next step. And I do get that that's going to happen in April for you. Okay. Last card we have is physical touch is important. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, for some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So, I mean, as humans, physical touch, it, it's essential. You know, science proves all the, the endorphins that are released from a hug raise our elation, our happiness, our joy. Um, and, and so I'm getting for... Getting for some of you, you know, you're in that relationship with someone that, you know, they've, they've disappointed you, they've hurt you, that you need to forgive them and you need to start connecting with them again. I get for, it's almost like, you know, Scorpios, when we get scorned and, and hurt, the stinger comes out and, and we just don't want to be around that person. So I get for some of you, you've been hurt and upset that you've just pushed and blocked this person out. And for some of you, it may even be that, that soulmate, that divine connection. Maybe that's why they were saying you're showing the angels and in, in your unborn son frustrated waiting for, you know, mom and dad to get their act together because you've pushed that person away because they hurt you. So they're saying, forgive that person, love that person, let that stuff go and reconnect with them because the, the, that physical connection is essential. I mean, you, to go spend time together, see each other, hold hands, laugh, kiss, embrace, give back rubs, just, just be together because that's going to, to, it's going to build the intimacy, the connection. And for some of you, you know, you've been in a relationship, marriage for a long time, there's been a lot of turbulence, um, a lot of unhappiness, and again, dissatisfaction, hurt, pain, painful words. You can reinvigorate that relationship. You can put that spark back in and start with physical touch. And it doesn't have to be intimate sexual physical touch. You know, 
take a weekend, go focus on each other, have fun, hold hands, kiss, snuggle, take walks. Just enjoy being together because because that will put the spark back in. And, and I do get that that is essential for a number of you in the month of April because that's going to help with that connection. Now, for some of you who are going to be getting engaged, you'll have that. Um, but for some of you, that's going to help with taking the relationship to the next level. That's going to help you get past, you know, past hurts. That is what's going to help usher in and have your dreams come true for you. So focus on loving your partner, loving your other half, spending quality time together. Know that everything is coming true. You have no worries, all departments. Um, and have an amazing month. It's really going to be a magical month for you, Scorpios. I look forward to hearing from you. Any feedback that you can give, comments. Um, many thanks to everyone for your subscriptions. I do wish you an amazing month filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.